I love nature, but I'm kind of a princess. I love the stars. I love the trees. I like hiking, but I don't like sleeping outside at all. But I talk people into it. <laughs> don't put that on the video. <laughs> I thought I was like, you know, full on nature. And then I got up here and I, I camped at Lake Arrowhead where we are my first time. <laughs> I don't like bugs. <laughs> I like to shower outside. So every summer I come up to Lake Arrowhead and we come up here to prepare for our retreats. We basically clean up the trails and we sweep the road so people can walk. And it's just a really beautiful opportunity to prepare the space for the people that are coming. I think the whole spiritual path started because I came to California. I was living in Texas and I was going through a divorce. So I moved to California. And at the time I was working as a therapist with children with autism. And then I found the University of Santa Monica. So everybody's you know, studying discourses on staff. I was just watching how the energy of the people, they were just having a good time. So I wanted to know what they were doing. So I found out about discourses and I started reading discourses and I started having this, um, this connection. I think I've always had to God, to spirit, but I had forgotten about it. So it was kind of like something that I remembered versus something I found, yeah. I love my job because I love the people that I work with. It's more like working with the family that you love. Like sometimes we fight and sometimes we have to work things out. I think my favorite thing about working for MSI PTS is we all have a, a, the same focus, which is to be more loving in the world, with ourselves, with everybody. So it makes a huge difference because even when you're in your stuff, because we're human, Everybody's like going in that direction anyway, so you let things go easy. And then I can keep moving and have a good time. So currently I'm working on my practical treatise, which is kind of like a thesis. And it's all about seeing the good in all people and things, situations, including myself. And I started my practical treatise even before I got here. I just didn't know it. So I worked with kids with autism as a therapist. And what the kids taught me was how to see something good. Because if I was going to be a good therapist, then I had to see something good at them. And I didn't know how to work with the kids in the beginning. So I just really tuned in to you know, my intuition to figure out, like, how do I touch this kid? How do I reach this kid? And what came to me is just to love them. So, you know, you have a kid who's five years old, you know, he's biting people, he's tackling people, he's screaming at his parents, he's pulling your hair. And it's like, how can I love this kid? You know, it, it could be a, a simple thing. Like he looks at you and you know, there's God for a second. So I would hold on to that. And that whole kid would become a different kid and they would make friends or, you know, whatever. So I carried this into my practical treatise and I started using it in my relationships at work, you know, in my personal life and, you know, difficult situations. And what I found is if I focus on something good, it's like more good happens. <laughs>